with Wembley showpiece was a magnificent advertisement for League One, and for the passionate fan bases of Sunderland and Portsmouth. But for the Black Cats, it started the previous day. Their supporters launched a good-humoured invasion of Covent Garden and Trafalgar Square on Saturday night, and the trains down earlier that day were absolutely packed with supporters. Sunderland's players travelled that way too, and we're greeted with a wall of noise when they disembarked. It's a special football club, said Power, who joined from Wigan Athletic in August. When we stepped off the train at King's Cross on Saturday the reception we got was very surreal for all the lads, from myself through to lads like Grant Ledbitter and Lee Cattermole who have seen it all before. I think even they were taken aback by it. There seems to be a real connection at the moment between the supporters and the players which probably hadn't been there in recent years. Sunderland fans at Wembley, picture special view gallery, there's a group of lads who understand what it means to play for this club and that's where the disappointment of Sunday comes from. We wanted to celebrate with that following, but all I can do is commend them for how well they've backed us and I'm sure they'll continue to back us and we'll see another sellout away crowd at Accrington, where the Black Cats play in League One on Wednesday. It was not just the quantity of supporters at Wembley on Sunday, the fairly equally split 85,021 outstripping the League Cup final and Tottenham Hotspur in England's home games this season, but the noise they generated. The 2-2 draw lived up to the occasion, even if Sunderland will not look back on it as fondly as they should. I'm sure you couldn't have had a better advert for the Cheka Trade Trophy than Sunday's game, a sellout record crowd and two good football sides, said Power. There probably won't be a better atmosphere in this stadium for a long time.